Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more Let's Play Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn. Uh, last time we started part four, and I pretty much went insane with the commentary. I do apologize for that again, although I'm sure that some of you guys probably laughed your asses off, but whatever. Uh, let's go ahead and continue with uh, more of the story. Map Commentary! Ike's route leads his group to the west. He is accompanied by his old comrades, Deputy Commander Titania and Master Tactician Sorin. Also with him are Nyla, Queen of Hatari, the Heron Prince Raphael, Prince Kurta of Goldor, and his loyal subject, Ina. Having received a warning from Micaiah about the Disciples of Order, Ike and company stay alert and wary as they cross into Seliora. Chapter 1, Road to the Empire. Okay, so... We've now gotten word, or at least this group has gotten word, of the Disciples of Order. And that was a very short conversation. We're already at the base. Um, MVP of the last chapter was Mia, which uh, I think that's who I predicted would have won. I was convinced it would be either be her or Jill, but I think Mia makes more sense since she obviously gained the most levels. And let's go ahead and do some info conversations. First we have appearances. <laughs> Ike, please, just let it be. <laughs> that is pretty funny, I will admit. <laughs> Nyla is just a funny character too, I think. Okay, next we have Visions. Anyway, uh, with that conversation, Mist actually gains a, uh, was it a royal crown, I think it was just called? Or holy crown? I'll go ahead and check really quick. Yeah, holy crown. Now, obviously this item is completely useless to me now because, yeah, it allows Mist to pro from, promote from a cleric to a Valkyrie, but obviously Mist is already a Valkyrie. And uh, someone actually mentioned in a past comment section that uh, Mist actually uh, needs that in the Japanese version of this game. In that game, like uh, she couldn't actually promote naturally, but she can in this game. That's probably what confused me when I was talking about like needing that item and then realizing that she didn't need the item. But yeah, that's what you get from that conversation. And finally, we have Amy.
Oh god, come on, Amy. <laughs> there I goes again with his one-liners. I, lo I love those one-liners. Anyway, you get a Rex Caliber spell. And... Whoa! Okay, my recording is screwing up majorly. I'm dropping like hundreds of frames at once. So, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and... Yeah, let me uh, go ahead and... Uh, just stop right here so I can fix that. So, I've pretty much done everything anyway. Uh, let me make sure I got all the supports. Oh no, I haven't. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll just do this really quick. And yeah, I guess it's a good timing thing then. That way I can, you know, go off camera and do all this base stuff. And then I'll come back with a new recording. So yeah, I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, I am back. Um, what I did off camera was, uh, first I, of course, did weapon exchange and all of that. Um, I know that some of these units have some weapons that might seem weird, but uh, that is because I'm getting them prepared for their next class, so there is a reason they have those items. Um, also, I got ev all of my units up to level 20, except for Edward. He's at level 17, but he does have the Paragon skill, so he'll uh, get up the rest of the way to 20 pretty quickly, so... Uh, that was my mindset for that. Um, one thing I should do that I didn't think about. Um, even though you're probably not going to need it. Oh wait, you don't even have it anymore. I was going to give a Nolan a crossbow that I thought I had. But apparently I don't. Uh, I'll probably have to buy it. Which is fine. I don't mind buying stuff. But yeah, just to give uh, no one another weapon, I guess. The fighters actually do pretty good with the crossbows, I have to admit, or the warriors, whatever they're called. So yeah, I'm not doubting that decision. Um, anything else? Uh, I don't think so. I think I'm pretty much good to go. It's nice that I have two healers here. For a minute, I thought I only had one and missed, but then I realized that, oh wait, I have Soren too, so I should be good to go there. And, uh, yeah, I think I'm done, so... Let us leave. Oh, wait, one more thing. This is all you can get from the, uh, bargain bin. Just a Worm Slayer and three Olivey Grass. And for those wondering what was in the, uh, shop, or the bargain bin, in the last chapter, uh, it was all Olivey Grass, so you didn't miss anything. And yeah, it looks like the Disciples of Order have, once again, played God and just vanished, and, or not vanished, but appeared out of nowhere. I seriously hate how they can do that, but whatever. I guess that's the perks of being blessed by a goddess, I suppose. Okay, so let's go ahead and choose our units. Uh, from the look of it, we should be able to use... Yeah, pretty much everyone. That actually uh, worked out perfectly. Let me just make sure that... Yep, okay, I can use all these units. That's fine and dandy and spiffy, so that's good. Um, this is basically how I'm going to do this. Ike is going to essentially take out the front lines by himself. Uh, the reason why, and I guess I can go ahead and talk about this now, is that as you guys know, he promoted into a vanguard at the end of part 3, or beginning of part 4 as well. Uh, vanguards get the ability to use axes in addition to swords, which is kind of interesting, but you of course are probably going to want to focus on swords anyway, just because of Ragnell. And you also get the skill Aether or Aether, whatever this freaking thing is pronounced. But basically what this does is it can launch a consecutive attacks of Soul and Luna. So not only do you get an attack where you actually heal HP, but you also 
uh, do another attack, which completely disregards an enemy's defenses as well. So, this ability is really, really powerful. It's probably the, the best ability in the entire game. Just because it's a damage healer and a damage doer, so... Yeah, this uh, this attack is, like, insane. And also, uh, Ike gains Nahil um, whenever he uh, promotes, too, so... That's nice for him to have, especially for the end part of the game. I'll talk about that later. So yeah, Ike will be taking the front, as I mentioned, and he should pretty much be able to do completely fine by himself. I might have another unit backing him up, but that shouldn't be too hard for anyone to do. Um, I think I'm going to put Brahm and Nephany on this side, because I always have more trouble on this side than this side, so um, I'm going to keep some of my lower defense units over here instead. I just realized I have two uh, warriors in this, two level 20 warriors. So I guess I could almost compare these two and see what their stats are like. Uh, from the look of things, no one's actually better than Void right now, which is... I guess it's not too surprising. Well, I think all of Nolan's stats are better than Void's. That's insane. Okay, so it looks like I know which unit would be better to use in the long run here. That's kind of interesting. And let's see, uh... I want to be kind of careful over here, too. Hmm. I don't. I really don't know how to go about doing this. I'd like to have a unit in front, so maybe I'll put Boyd over here instead. Uh, Boyd and I can kind of hold up this front, which is kind of cool. And then I can put Edward over here. And, uh... Yeah, I guess I can put Sheena over here with Titania. <clears throat> there goes my voice for some reason. Okay, that might do it. And I also have uh, Nyla. And I'm going to be using Nyla to defend this little barricade right here because the enemies can attack and destroy this barricade. So, yeah, I'm going to use Nyla for that. It seems like a good idea to me. Soren, you probably shouldn't be that far out, but I don't know. I don't know I don't know how to decide this. It's all crazy. It's all so very crazy. Okay, that works. Probably doesn't make that much sense, but whatever. Let's just save our game and get started. But if I had to pick uh, from the uh, there's actually six chapters of these where you switch between the different groups. If I had to pick uh, a chapter in terms of difficulty, this one would probably be the second hardest, in my own honest opinion. Uh, mostly just because of the fog. I really, really hate the fog. Fog is stupid and lame, and I hate it, and yeah. So yeah, I brought the torch staff to make this a little easier for me. So I can actually see what's going on on the different parts of the map. You really can't see that much, just that there's, you know, two guys over here that you probably couldn't see. But that works, that's fine. Uh, let's see. Boyd, you're probably going to be right here. So, one, two, three. Dang it. Um, shoot. I guess I could put you right here and maybe move you farther down, but... Maybe a part of me doesn't want to do that. Eh, yeah, whatever. Oh! I made a promise to you guys. I didn't forget. I almost did, but I didn't. Okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to actually sort this by unit. Uh, all on for you. It really doesn't matter for Miss, since I'm not going to try to get her into combat anyway. Uh, Nyla... Yeah, we've already seen Nyla, so we don't need hers. No, I don't want to watch an animation of Raphael getting killed, because if there was an animation, that's what it would be. Uh, Titania. She's not promoted yet. Sorn is, so I'll leave his on. I guess I can just do map only for some of you. Not promoted yet. Not promoted yet. You're promoted. Not promoted yet. 
Not promoted yet. Not promoted. Okay. And don't worry, as these units promote, I will turn them on, so... I didn't forget, guys. I didn't forget this time. I know, you guys are probably so proud of me. No, you, you guys don't care. Um... <laughs> okay, this is going to be kind of interesting. Like, I'm kind of worried about Boyd. Boyd's not as powerful as I thought he was. So, uh, I'm going to battle... Well, no, I don't need to battle save yet. But, uh, one of the things that's really annoying about this chapter are these freaking sandbags. Because some of them the enemy can break, and others they can't break, and it's just kind of annoying to figure out which which is which, so... That's one of the things we'll have to look out for as we're doing this. Yeah, I'll go ahead and break the barricade so not I can just kill everything. As for you guys, I guess I'll just move you forward. These two should definitely have this side well covered, because uh, Boyd, obviously, is the highest defensive unit I have right now. Although it might be Ike, just because of the uh, Ragnell, since Ragnell gives 5 defense, I think. Yeah, so 32 versus his. Oh, they're at the same defense. And Nephany has defense cap at this point, which is, you know, not the best cap, but, you know, she can definitely hold her own, so they'll be fine over here. Over here, again, I'm not too worried, but I don't want anything bad to happen, obviously. Let's go ahead and put Sheen on right here. Oh, wow, I wasn't expecting a critical hit right there, but... Uh, thank you, Sword. Uh, uh, that was very appreciative of you. Oh, wow, that's, that's, that's insane. Edward has, like, the same defense as Nolan. I don't know what it is with my Edward and his defense. It's crazy. Okay, uh, who has the best... All of you guys could hold your own right here. Jeez. Uh, does anyone have Vantage? Okay, Edward does, so I'm thinking about putting him right here. But, on the other hand... He's gonna have to get criticals if he wants to do what I want him to do, so... Let me do this. First of all, converse, yes. the hand axe. Give you the short axe. Keep Soren kind of right here. And now I'm going to do the battle save I was talking about. And I'm going to give Edward... Oh, he doesn't have the killing edge anymore. I was kind of hoping that he would have. I'll give him the brave sword then. Put him here. And then I'll put Boyd right here. And we'll see if this actually works out. Not sure if it will. I'm actually kind of worried about Boyd's speed right here. But we'll see what happens. Yeah, that's going to be kind of annoying. Okay, here we go. An actual animation. Finally, like I promised. I know it took me a while to show those, but... You know, I'm very weird like that, I guess. I'm kind of surprised that hit him. 38% is not a very good percentage at all. Okay, I'm kind of worried right now. I mean, I think it'll be fine, but still. Okay, Ike, let's see an Aether. I think it is Aether, though, just because I think the A is supposed to be silent. But again, you know my standing on pronunciation. Come on, get a critical. Dang it. Come on, guys, a critical would be really nice. I'd really appreciate that. Please? I guess not. You guys are just gonna be jerks to me. That's all it is, isn't it? 
Gonna be stupid jerks. Oh jeez! Forgot about those freaking Pegasus Knights. Yeah, there's Pegasus Knights, and I think there's a few Wyvern Knights too, and they just kinda fly out of nowhere and kick you off beyond belief. Oh, and yeah, and there's also healers, too. Gotta love healers. Not. Jeez, come on. That's stupid. I just weakened those guys. And yeah, there, go there come the uh, randomly appearing soldiers. There's even a few soldiers that appear over here, and I don't know why. That's just really annoying, if you ask me. Okay, well... I need to be careful here, so I'm going to wait before I move on this side. Uh, let's focus on these guys first. So first of all... Yeah, let's kill this Pegasus. You can also see my Soren's animations, too. Aw, oh, nice adept. Very appropriate adept, too. Soren looks pretty badass in that white robe, I have to admit. It's better than that purple one that he has and he wears all the time. Okay, sure. I think Nephany's gonna be fine right there, because even if she does bite the dust, so to speak, or if she gets close to, she'll just promote and gain all her health back. And then be stronger beyond belief. So yeah, she's gonna be fine. Let's see a Luna, bro. Let's see a Luna. Or not. That's some really heavy armor, though, for Braum. I'm kind of surprised he can fight in that. But whatever. It's a game. Okay, let's see. Who ha needs more experience? Okay. Uh, Titania and Nolan do. Be really nice if I could critical, but it's not gonna happen. I think I'm gonna keep Edward right there, though, just because... Seems like a good place for him. I can do this with Sheenon, too. I can use Iron Longbow. We actually hit twice. That's nice. Good job, Shinon. Meanwhile, yeah, these guys are essentially just going to take little pot shots at everyone else so they can level up soon. Meanwhile, I think Edward will be fine just here by himself. That, that seems like a good idea to me. I'm gonna go ahead and switch to that. So once I'm done with the Brave Sword, you can go ahead and go to another sword. And there's the critical when I don't even need it. Although I did save one weapon use, I guess. <laughs> That's all you got. Although I don't think you can actually uh, increase very much anymore. Aside from defense, which I was kind of hoping for a little bit. Defense is always nice. Okay, now we need to actually look out for this freaking Pegasus Knight. Uh, first, though, we have to heal Boyd, because if we don't, Boyd's going to bite the dust rather easily. So I'm going to very quickly mend Boyd. Get him back to full health. Get you out of here. Okay, I think that works for me. That way everybody's safe. And go ahead and do a battle save. Just in case I get unlucky. I wish Boyd's chances for hitting would be a little higher. That would have been nice, but we'll deal with it. And I want to get rid of this freaking sniper. It's always advised to go after the units that can actually, uh, yeah, get a critical hit, like that. 
Although it didn't do anything to Ike, it was good that I got rid of him. That'll make things significantly easier for me as I continue on. And that was a lame level up, Ike. Very bad level up. <laughs> 